Is it a repeat, do you think, Ian? I mean... Well, it's the FA Cup and, you know, Luton should fancy themselves. You know, Liverpool are in great form. You know, I've got a striker in great form, but it's the FA Cup and I'm here to cheer on Luton. I think Mike Newell was a great player and a great manager and I think he's destined for higher places, but if he was playing against the old Liverpool, i.e. the Liverpool of last season that capitulated in the third round against Burnley, then I think they've got a chance. But Liverpool, Liverpool are playing with such commitment and belief. And, and, and they've gone with a very well, strong Well, I think that Benitez yeah. has learned his lesson from last season. That's reflected in the side he's going for. It's a strong side that are playing very, very well. They've got the balance between defence and attack. And the commitments here, the last game against Bolton that we saw them play, never capitulated under pressure, kept on going, fought right to the death. And I, I fully expect them to get But it's the FA here. Cup now. Yeah. So you're things going happen. for Luton? You know, yeah, man, things happen in the FA Cup. I okay. can't explain. Every year in the third round, he sits there saying, is there going to be an upset? And I say no. <laughs> and there never is. <laughs> but today might be the day. <laughs> <laughs> right, Luton versus Liverpool in the third round of the FA Cup. Our Comgy team here at Kenilworth Road, Mark Lawrence, and a man who knows the Luton Town manager, Mike Newell, almost too well, John Motson. I'm having a couple of hours relaxation at a health spa at Henlow in Bedfordshire. But the main reason I've come is not just to enjoy myself, but to talk to a man who's very much in the news this week and looking forward to our live game on Sunday. And that's the Luton Town centre forward Mike Newell, who's played in every game so far this season and whose Liverpool connections by now are pretty well known. Hmm, not the sort of Brazilian we're used to seeing you commentate on, Motti. Very embarrassing, Gary. My only excuse is it was 17 years ago, maybe 19 even, and uh, my hair was a bit darker then, but uh, it seems that long actually since Luton here started to talk about moving to a new stadium. It hasn't happened yet, but this intimate Kenilworth Road ground somehow encapsulates the true spirit of the FA Cup, quite apart from Luton's own tradition in the competition. They were finalists in 1959, semi-finalists three times in ten seasons in the 80s and 90s. The 10,000 capacity and the proximity of the crowd to the pitch is a reminder of how many giants have been slain in this greatest of all cup competitions with the underdogs snapping at their heels and opposing supporters breathing down their necks. Could it happen tonight on a ground where it once happened to you and Hansen, Mark Lawrenson? It did, Mark. Um, I don't think it will happen tonight if Liverpool play the way they played in the last sort of 14, 15 games. However, going back to that night, a plastic pitch or no plastic pitch, we were brutal. We deserved absolutely nothing, which is what we got. Well, it's a different Liverpool side tonight, as the boys said, to the one that lost at Burnley this time last year. But can I introduce you first to Luton Town, for those of you that don't see them very often? Goalkeeper Marlon Beresford has had experience with 10 clubs. The right back Kevin Foley is a Republic of Ireland under 21 international. Centre backs Chris Coyne and the Finn Marcus Heikinen both used to play for Scottish clubs. Left back Paul Underwood helped Rushton and Diamonds into the league. In midfield we've got Carlos Edwards who's expected to play for Trinidad and Tobago against England in the World Cup. Alongside Nichols, who is something of an inspiration, a bit like Gerrard at Luton's level, you have Steve Robinson, who's arguably the best footballer in the side, and Ahmet Berkovic, the Croatian, who scores and assists a high percentage of Luton's goals. Up front, the archetypal centre-forward in bustling Steve Howard, and the pacey Rowan Vine, who passed a late fitness test. Now then, young Scott Carson... 20 years old, gets a rare chance in goal, but Rafael Benitez takes no chances with his outfield selection. The European champions fielding a strong side, the only noticeable absentees, Morientes and Luis Garcia, Hippier, Carragher and Gerrard all have FA Cup winners medals from 2001 when Liverpool won the first FA Cup final to be played at Cardiff. One bit to be the last uh, this year, no, we don't know yet. Um, anyway, on the left, at the Oak Road end, the... Liverpool fans have just noticed on their team sheets that Kromkamp, number two, could make his debut tonight. He's among the substitutes, Jan Kromkamp, who came from Villarreal earlier this week in a swap deal with Josemi. So he's in the squad tonight. And on the Luton bench, Warren Feeney, the Northern Ireland international, and the connection between him and Harry Kewell, they were at Leeds together. And one was best man at the other's wedding. So, uh, but one or two connections here. And uh, the two captains, as I say, do have a similar style of play in their different divisions. Kevin Nichols, he really is the, the motor man in the Luton midfield, up and down, a real driving force. And uh, the officials, incidentally, while they're there, Mark Clattenburg, the referee, uh, Dave Babsky and Dave Bryan, his assistants. And uh, it's a real 
cut eye atmosphere, Mark, isn't it? What about the pitch, by the way? It's not plastic these days. No, the pitch is excellent. It, you just wonder from Luton's point of view whether it's too good if we're looking for a shock, John. I think as well, we, we, we sort of touched on the way Liverpool have played. And if Luton are going to get a shock here, I think they've got to start very well. And I think they have to dictate the pace of the game if possible and really have to be very, very competitive in midfield. This Liverpool in the last few weeks in that midfield area have been outstanding. They have, and their supporters are about 1,800 strong behind the left-hand goal. That's the Oak Road end, if you know this ground. Kenilworth Road end at the right is where the loop now. Rafael Benitez isn't used to walking right across the pitch to find his seat, but he has to here. The dugouts are on the far side, and look at this for enthusiasm in the crowd already. As Luton in white shirts prepare to start this third round FA Cup tie. One or two of the underdogs nearly pulled off a shot this afternoon without quite managing it against Premiership opposition. There's an opportunity here for Luton Town of the Championship. Ninth in their league against Liverpool, who won ten consecutive Premiership games before they drew at Bolton. Narrow pitch, really. This is Underwood, and the first clearance nearly hits Mark Lawrence in our uh, cosy little gantry here. In fact, the only uh, teams to really puncture the Liverpool defence recently have been Bolton and Sao Paulo in the World Club Championship. It's quite a task for Luton here. This is Hippier. He, he and Carragher probably aware that Liverpool are being linked with a new centre-back as well. Here's Berkovic. But uh, there's no way you'd want to be without Jamie Carragher. He's been an absolute inspiration with Gerrard for Liverpool. The real scout is in the team. with the kick Underwood with the header for Luke Javi Alonso Steve Howard now that this is Edwards the uh, wide right player and they will play with two wide men Luke and Edwards will patrol the right hand side Berkovic the left Gabriel Cisse playing alongside Peter Crouch. It's cold enough for the gloves. This is Berkovic. Very late for him from late Orient days. Luton on the attack here though with Rowan Vine. Trying to get it into Howard and Sizoko was there and Luton have a corner. At this point, the two centre-backs of Luton, Heikkinen and Coyne, will both go forward. Howard almost on the goal line. There's a foul being given there. Coyne was just climbing a bit. And... Uh, the first flurry is over, Mark. What do you make of it? Well, I think you just seen straight away, especially in the central midfield, Nichols very, very quickly into the tackle. They're pushing Edwards down the right, Luton Berkowitz down the left. I think what they've made a mind up, John, that they're going to try and stop Liverpool building from the back and push people forward. Yeah, I think uh, Mike Newell and Brian Steeney's coach had that in mind. They both scored here, by the way, in that 3-0 win against uh, your Liverpool team in 87. Thanks. Newell and Steen. <laughs> Along with Mick Harford, who used to be Mike's assistant here. Mike Mills adopts a very laid-back pose during the game. You'll just see him leaning against the dugout there. He's not a, a ranter and a raver. Easy on, easy on. Not during the match, anyway. Brian Steen there next to him. Also... Those days with the artificial surface seem a long way off now. Queen's Park Rangers had one as well, of course, in those uh, in that period. As well as one or two other clubs. <laughs> Preston, did they mark? Have a yeah, they said artificial did. pitch. Yeah, yeah. Certain, yeah. and they were all rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> well, that pass wasn't a lot better, was it? That was Harry Kill misplacing one. Here's uh, Rowan Vine with Hippier. Goal kick. 
It's very early, obviously, in the game, John, but uh, it is a good start by Luke. We said they're very, very quick at trying to close Liverpool down and already forcing a few mistakes. Well, they could have sold twice the number of tickets to uh, Luton supporters for this one. The capacity is around 10,000, but uh, there were about 20,000 requests. There's Peter Crouch heading it on. Kewell with Cissé. This is Vine. And still... Howard's in the middle, Berkovic is coming in behind him, Howard tries to make it, Nichols. Oh, good block, combination of Carragher and Alonso. This is Steve Finnan. Good ball, Gerrard. Yeah, Gerrard just looking to put Crouch through, and Crouch just didn't really have that extra turn of pace to turn it into a good ball. Gerrard very involved early on here. He didn't play at Burnley a year ago. In fact, it was, as I said, a very shadow Liverpool side that lost at uh, Turf Moor. And, of course, they did lose as well in the Carling Cup this season at Crystal Palace, Liverpool. It was after that result that their impressive run really started. Here's a oh, misplaced pass by Gerrard. He is human, after all. Interesting, Mark, that they've got the same referee Liverpool as they had at Bolton. Mark Clattenburg was involved in that match on Monday when the Bolton manager felt two Liverpool players should have been red carded. Yeah, I think a lot's been a little bit much ado about nothing about that game, to be honest with you. Yeah, so it has sort of had one or two ramifications. Luton won the uh, Championship of League One last season, got promotion and uh, started this season very well here at Kenilworth Road. Just slipped a bit in these last few weeks. Their away form's dipped. But Howard battling there with Hippier. That was Robinson trying to get in on it. Kewell. Alonso. Sissoko. Little, oh, lovely touch by Steven Gerrard. Twice, in fact. This is Cissé. Crouches up with him. Corner. Yeah, it was good interplay, wasn't it? There was also the option of Finnan, who'd burst down the right-hand side, who's in loads of space. Yes, well, uh, Finnan's got to keep his game up because uh, the newcomer Cromkamp is by trade a right-back. Gerard will take the corner for Liverpool. Sissoko has gone right on the line with the goalkeeper. Hippier is forward. So, obviously, he's Crouch. Oh, and there's Cissé, and it's Sammy Hippier! Well, this is an excellent chance as well, is it? He just loses his marker, Sammy Hupia. Should have done better. So the first real opening here, it came from Gerrard's corner, which was deep. And uh, the shot was a bit too deep in itself. People forget about Liverpool, there's some, some very tall players in their team, John. Yeah, absolutely. Crouch being the tallest. <laughs> well, they put Hupia in there and Gerrard, Sissoko and Cissé, all six plus. It's... Uh, Foley over that side with the throw for uh, Luton. That was on by uh, Howard to Vine. Now then, the long throw. Didn't reach Steve Howard. Forward by Nichols. Oh, and the goalkeeper started to come there, and Berkovic was closing in, and now Carson can gather. 
He's the uh, England under-21 goalkeeper. Well, thankfully, Sissoko was there to mop up any danger. Just a little bit of hesitance from uh, Carson. Hasn't played in the Premiership this season because, uh, well, neither's Dudek for that matter, because uh, Rayner has been the number one choice. Here's Crouch. Another booming ball there played by Gerrard, and this time he's picked out Harry Kill. Is it fair to say that Harry Kill has just come onto his game a bit in recent weeks, Mark? It is, John, yes. He's actually saying that for the first time, really, since he joined Liverpool, what, two and a half, three years ago, I love long it was, he actually feels fully fit. Marlon Beresford, 36 years old, left-footed. Finnan. Nichols off. Oh, Luton have done OK for the first ten minutes. And uh, that touch by Howard, not quite picking out Robinson, who was well forward from midfield in that attack. And so is Nichols here, closing in on the goalkeeper. Oh, and that broke for Howard, and here comes Carson. again by Nichols. that's got in behind them, Robinson, Berkovic making strides into the centre, oh it was Vine who had the shot. It was good play as well, really nice late run by Berkovic and just as it came over his shoulder just helped it on, good play by Luton this. Well, as you've seen already they do like to play to feet and uh, throw players forward the championship side. Nichols at the heart of everything, this is Underwood. Steve Gerrard all over the place in this early period. Cutting in there, it's Foley that stopped him, and also went past Alonso. Didn't go past John Arnorisa though. Good turn of pace by Foley. I mean, Gerard and Kuhl have swapped very, very early in the game as well. The right back, uh, Kevin Foley, has got a growing reputation here. There are a few people who think he could play Premiership football. Well, he looks like he might be quick enough. He's also a nice distributor of the ball, too. I've seen a bit of him of uh, Luton this season, and that's his uh, <laughs> worst side. <laughs> It'll get better. Right on cue. Yeah. 21 years old. There's uh, Mike Newell really building a team here that they want to consolidate in the championship. It's more important to him perhaps at the moment than uh, all the somewhat uh, uncertain speculation about a new ground that's uh, moved on a little bit in recent weeks. One of the sites is now no longer on for Luton near the airport. Here's Gerard. Risa. Kewell looks for Cissé, offside. Unusual design to this ground, those are executive boxes over on the far side in the low slung stand. Offside there against uh, Gibral Cissé. Yeah, I don't think executive is in capital letters though, is it? <laughs> no, perhaps not. <laughs> You get a warm welcome here, though. This is Finnan. <laughs> Crouch. Trying to shake off Nichols. Reset. It's good by Luton, John, that they really are making Liverpool, A, play at their pace. And when Liverpool have got the ball, they're making them hurry in every position. Yeah. 
Steve Howard challenging Hippier, but uh, in doing so, he gives away a free kick. Real bustling centre forward in the uh, old tradition, Steve Howard. I think we have to congratulate Alan Shearer at some point in this commentary, Mark. I think that goal equaled Jackie Milburn's 200 goal record. Yeah, how badly needed was that as well today? For those of you that haven't heard the results, it was 1-0 against Mansfield Town. Equals the record, he still needs one to beat it. This is Cissé. Crouch inside, Kewell further over. Here's Crouch, can he turn on it? He gives it back to Cissé. This is Gerrard. Oh, what a goal! And he hardly glanced to acknowledge it, Stephen Gerrard. He made it look so straightforward. Benitez notes something on the pad. But the noteworthy thing there was the finish of the England midfield player. Luton Town absolutely stunned by this. Cissé was twice in the middle. Look at the way Gerrard curls that past Beresford mark. He just made, he'd already made his mind up by the, by the pace of the ball when it comes back from Cissé. Crouch as well to hold up. He just lays it into his path, just hits it first time. It's outstanding. Well, it's goal number 16 for Steven Gerrard this season. Quite a few of them, of course, were scored in the European Champions League qualifiers, but... Uh, He's really playing so well that you just hope from England's point of view that he and the likes of Lampard can maintain their current form right through to the World Cup. It's a little bit harsh on Luton as well. They started this game very, very brightly. This is Heikkinen. Sixteen minutes gone at Kenilworth Road. Luton Town nil, Liverpool one. The European champions, the first to strike, and what a strike by Steven Gerrard. Nichols. Header away by Carragher. This is Xavi Alonso. Heikkinen with the header. Robinson. Underwood. Deep ball looking for Carlos Edwards. Oh, he's got there. Went above Risa. And Robinson has the shot. It's a corner. Great ball from Wonderwood, wasn't it, to pit Edwards out? Certainly was. And uh, Tykinen and Coyne on their way forward to support Steve Howard here as Luton look for a quick equaliser. Rowan Vine in the six yard box. Tykinen goes there too. Here comes Coyne. And that's gone out for another corner. Underwood, who you mentioned, has got a very good left foot. He'll go across to take this on the right-hand side. Played short to Edwards. Howard's in there. Robinson. Yeah, Luton caught Liverpool cold from the corner, two against one, which was Cissé, and, and Edwards did well. He, he, he conned Cissé into thinking that he was going to knock it inside and took it down the line and put the cross in. This is, this is just outstanding quality, absolutely outstanding. Gerrard just emphasising his range of skills. the heads. Just important now for Luton, John, they have a, a 10 to 15 minute spell where obviously they don't concede again and make sure Liverpool don't have any more chances. Well, less than two years ago this club was in administration and far away from folding Luton Town. Now they're on the same pitch as the European champions, Sissoko, Javi Alonso, Kuehl's got room on the left here. Crouch making his way into the centre, so is Cissé. And 
just see there how quick the break is, can't you? It's a minimum amount of touches, minimum amount of passes. And Kulin, is it a shot or is it a cross? Can't quite decide, but very, very dangerous. Finnan crouches header on, Cissé with Heikkinen. And now Foley. Underwood. Again, he tries to pick out Carlos Edwards. Well, he should be on the pitch with, against Steven Gerrard again when uh, England play Trinidad and Tobago in the World Cup. Liverpool supporters at the left-hand end in good heart at the moment, after 20 minutes. This is Howard. Little touch on here for Robinson by uh, Vine. Underwood. And Luton playing it about nicely, this is Nichols. Edwards on the far side, cut out by Risa, who finds Kuhl. That does seem to be the get-out, doesn't it, from left to right for Luton all the time into Edwards, who's obviously very pacey. Yes, Berkovic was playing on the left at the minute. Last season, he was the wide right player, but when they got Edwards from Wrexham, they switched it round a bit, Luton. Alonso, Gerard now the furthest forward. If you've just uh, joined us a little late for this live game from Kenilworth Road, Stephen Gerard was the Liverpool goal scorer with a beautiful shot. This is Coyne to Underwood. Nichols, I'm conscious of course that there will be people coming in from other matches. Edwards. Foley, up goes Vine, this is Nichols. Oh, he just, he just looked like he changed his mind at the end, Nichols there. He, it was a good idea, and I think just as about to play, he probably thought, oh, they're running back from offside, but it would have been a clever pass. They've done nothing wrong here, Luke. Find themselves 1-0 down as well. No, they're a tidy little team, Mark. They Certainly. really are, yeah. They've just been hit by one moment of rare quality. Well, they? exactly. <laughs> Mike Neal retrieving the ball. He trained at Liverpool as a schoolboy for several years. Didn't get signed on, but did by several other clubs, including Everton and Luton, of course. Here's Robinson. In fact, uh, Mike's father Terry among the crowd tonight. There's a regular here. That's Coyne who's injured. Crouch spoken to by Mark Plattenberg. Yeah, the arm across the face, wasn't it? Blew very, very early as well, the referee. Yeah. Don't clatter your opponent in front of Plattenberg, otherwise it's a free kick. Which will be taken by Nichols. And it's also taken smoothly by Carson, who now tries to get uh, Gerrard going down this side. Oh, that's uh, Suzoko, very, very strong on Robinson. And Mark Plattenberg, who met uh, Suzoko in certain circumstances at Bolton, is now going to show him a card. Yeah, it was late, wasn't he? There's only great malice in it, John. He was going for the ball, he was just late. Yeah, that, that's often the case at the minute, isn't it? When players are a split second late, it looks worse than it really is. Absolutely. And it always looks worse in slow motion. Every single time. 
in fairness to Robinson, he did get up very, very quickly. Well, Robinson's that kind of player. He won't make, uh, he won't make a lot of it. Kills header, Crouch. They just had two free kicks in good positions, Luton, and just completely wasted them. <laughs> That's a nice touch. Handshake for one of the supporters. He was wondering what was coming, didn't he, Stevie Gerrard? He had no idea for a minute. Nichols finding Berkovic. Now then. Good running by Rowan Vine. Howard's in the centre waiting. Robinson's there too. Here's Howard! Oh! When you've seen him score as often as the Luton fans have from that position, you've got to say that's a chance. Well, that's a very good chance. He was almost stumbling as he took it. What good play. This is by Vine as well. Confronted by Jamie Carragher, and he, he does him for pace. Oh, he should have done so much better. He was just falling back, John, almost as he tried to play it as well, Howard. And he often puts those away, I have to tell you. And it was good play by Rowan Vine, getting wide to give Howard the chance. You wonder whether they'll get a better chance, that's the problem. This is Nichols. Now Vine on the run again. Vine actually was at Portsmouth. Um, and indeed spent last season on loan to Luton. I don't know, I think Harry Redknapp in his first spell there was quite sure about letting him go, but Luton have got him now. Well, it's a good partnership as well, isn't it, Howard? The, you know, the big target man, very cumbersome, difficult to play against, comes short for everything, and Vine's always looking the other side of the defenders and stretching Liverpool. That's what he's trying to do there until Jamie Carragher stepped in. Foley with the header. Sissoko. Oof, and Nichols has... <laughs> knocks it over, over twice. <laughs> this is uh, Berkovic, and it's Nichols again. Now Robinson. Uh, Robinson's unlucky because as he got the ball and got his head up, Edwards sort of went to make a run, and Robinson got his head down to play him in, and Edwards had just stopped and made him look a clown, actually. All the goals scored this afternoon in the FA Cup you'll see tonight on Match of the Day at 10.30. And tomorrow night, there's another match for you. And that's the Sissoko uh, <laughs> on the receiving end from Nichols. Another think... match for you tomorrow night. Le Sorry, Mark, Leicester Tottenham. Yeah, I, th I, I think that's a foul as well. The programme starts at 6.20 tomorrow on BBC One. Revisiting a Liverpool here, Mark. Linnick will be revisiting Leicester tomorrow night. Yeah, I thought there's a common denominator there, isn't there? Here's Foley for Luton. Oh, that's a decent ball, Berkovic. Crouch with Heikinen. Some of Luton's build up plays excellent. It's just a little bit more composure needed in the final third, but. Up until there, they're very, very good indeed. Yes, they've uh, certainly not um, let themselves down in this first half. And the fact that they are down in the game is purely down to one man. Here he is. Gerrard's pass this time goes astray. <laughs> Flick on by Howard. Gerard. Interception by Heikinen as Cissé tried to get in behind him. That's been a feature as well of Luton's play, that the way that they put Liverpool defenders under pressure and making them make mistakes. Well, this is Robinson, and there's a two-on-one there, but he... I didn't realise, I think, that Carlos Edwards was so close to him. The thing was, though, if, if Edwards had stayed out wide, he was in an excellent position for... Well, basically, the ball would have beaten Risa, would have been away on goal down the right-hand side. Actually, Mark, there's more width to Luton than there is to Liverpool at the moment, isn't there? Yes. Here's Crouch. That may change if Kuhl gets on the run there, but... Uh, to Liverpool throw. 
Here's Cissé. Finds Gerard. It's uh, an offside flag anyone, I think, that's come off the head of Heikkinen anyway. I'll tell you what, if you meant that header to go back to the goalkeeper, you should be playing for Luton. No disrespect. This is brilliant if he means it. Robinson's in the centre, couldn't just get the angle on the header. I'll tell you what, Vine's giving him a few problems out here. Well, he's, he's, his movement's very good, he's quick, Johnny, but he, he moves very, very late. And he's got a really good understanding down the left-hand side, he just runs in that left-hand channel, and he's difficult to pick up. Forward by Heikkinen. Alonso. Kuhl. Cool. Berkovic for Luton. Good first touch by Vine to uh, Underwood. Oh, and is this going to be it for Howard? He's got past the goalkeeper. Steve Howard and Luton Town have equalised. And it's Steve Howard. Not much emotion from Mike Nil, but they deserve it. And Liverpool, the European champions, taken apart in defence. Slick Luton move that started with Underwood, the left back, number six, and Steve Howard, who missed one earlier, more than makes up for it here. This is Underwood with the left foot sliding it into the gap. Is he offside? No, he's not. He goes round Carson, and as Finnan tries to get back on the line, Steve Howard scores. Yeah, through Hippia's legs as well. I'm not sure whether he was offside or not, John. I don't know whether you could read the lips of Mike Newell. His first reaction was he could have been offside, and that's from his own manager. It's 1-1 in the cup tie. And nothing here that Luton don't deserve. Absolutely. We talked about a little bit of composure in the final third, and that was it. Well, the championship side are back in the heat of this cup tie. And it's, it's, a, it's a lovely little ball through by Robinson. And, and look at the way Howard takes on the goalkeeper and slots it. 1-1. There was a little bit of a pause, wasn't there, while he was waiting for the ball to sort of come down for him to stick it in. And he showed great composure. Gerard. Oh, that's a... Oh, it's Cissé coming in and well taken out by Heikkinen. Here's Crouch, and Heiken, and this time, no, he doesn't take him down. Mark Rattenberg said he played the ball. In goes Nichols. Kill. Sissoko. left footer here in Underwood, Mark, who's starting these moves off down here. Yeah, his service is excellent. I mean, he started in the first ten minutes just playing 40-odd balls left to right to Edwards down the right. Slow but surely, he's, he's now got people like Howard and Vine more into the game. Really good feisty cup time now here. This is Suzuka. Free kick. Finner. Alonso. Well, Steve Howard, something of a crowd favourite here at Kenilworth Road. 
as Berkovic put that ball through there. He knew exactly what was coming, that was the goalkeeper, he leaps over him. And then, in it goes. Well, it's very difficult from that angle to see whether he was offside or not, Howard, and remains to be seen. They'll need a ruler at half time, I think, to determine that. It, 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 I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to say perhaps he was level. Crouch getting up here. Berkovic. Quite a ball through it was for the goal, actually. And this is Edwards. Oh! Ten minutes left in the first half here. And you can't complain about the uh, quality of this cup tie. Luton one, Liverpool one. Xavi Alonso, but it's Nichols in again. He, he really is a captain, isn't he, Nichols? Right, he's just, just so quick into the tackle as well. He, was, he tried to con the referee there because he, he actually played the ball off his own man. I think it was Edwards, but he's certainly all inspiration and perspiration, isn't he? Yeah, that's his style. Here's Hippier with the long pass, looking for Crouch. Alonso. Kill. Gerard. Suzoko looking for Finnan. Good play by Gerard, and again Kuhl. No. Berkovic much stronger in the challenge. Alonso, Kuhl, Gerard coming forward again. Berkovic, oh what a good ball that is. This is Howard, outside in Edwards, Vine in the centre, wants it now. Rowan Vine coming in behind Jeremy Carragher, who has to concede the corner. This is a sustained and boisterous spell by the championship side, Luton Town. And for the moment, it's Liverpool who are looking anxious. Heikinen going in on the goal line here with Vine. Coyne is forward as well. It's uh, a free kick given there by uh, Mark Plattenberger. Do you think Luton, uh, Liverpool have been taken a bit by surprise here, Mark? Most definitely. There was us children on about it's important that they keep it at 1-0 for a while, and lo and behold, here you go, there's the offside. Oh, I think Risa might just play him on, might he? He's level with Risa, isn't he? Yeah. Good decision by the assistant referee on the far side. Give the benefit of the doubt to the attacker. It's an even better goal every time you see it. Yeah, I tell you, it is, yeah. The ball by Berkovic as well that put him in, wasn't it? Excellent. Right, it's a free kick now to Liverpool. Javi Alonso, centre of the field. Gerard. This is fine. Oh, look at the space for Carlos Edwards. Luton have got four up in this attack. Edwards against Risa. He's driven him a bit wide. He just needed to get that ball in a bit earlier, Mark. Well, he thought about it, didn't he? He should just really have delivered, because he, he had Liverpool's back four, back pedalling, and that was the time to deliver. See, the, the way Luton get out, though, whether it's the, it comes through the middle and it swept out right and left, it's causing Liverpool real problems. And this time, Edwards deep crosses towards Berkovic. It's come off Finnan. But one or two Liverpool players need to get themselves into this game, Mark. Try all of them. <laughs> Gerard goes down, no fouls is the referee, so this is uh, Underwood again to Berkovic. And again. Kewell to Crouch. We really haven't seen much of Crouch and Cissé. This is Edwards. Three in the middle again for Luton, and again he can't get the ball in. 
the corner. Yeah, just so full of width, full of enterprise, and it's patient. It's a problem for Liverpool, this. Well, they should have learned their lesson at Burnley and at Crystal Palace, but they're uh, finding it hard to cope with the underdogs again here, the European champions. Luton's corner, Underwood to take. Oh, the flick on Hakkinen! Corner again. That's why you always have fullbacks on the post, John. Always, always, always. Stephen and to save Liverpool from a goal against. Absolutely, Heikkinen's header off the line by Finnan. Corner again to Luton. Here comes Howard. Keeper didn't quite do enough there. This is Coyne. Berkovic! Heikkinen! And it scrambled away, I don't quite know how, for a goal kick. Well, Barson came and couldn't really deal with it. If anything, Liverpool just a little bit fortunate with the bounce. There's a scramble, I think, of Berkovic, hit Peter Crouch. The Heikkinen as well as tries to have a little bite of it. And in the end, just turns it away, goal kick for Liverpool. Well, it's a real scramble in the goal now there. And uh, first of all, Heikkinen's header was headed out from under the bar by Finnan. Yeah, great movement as well. He came off the line, didn't he? Nobody picked him up. Five minutes left in what's been a very good half for the uh, championship side, Luton Town. And all this after they went a goal behind as well. There we say, it's a proper cup tie, this. Nichols tries to pick out Edwards. I'd like to see what uh, Benitez does at half-time because it's clear for all to see that Edwards is the get-out all the time, isn't it? I think we would think we're trying to pull Harry Kuhl back a little bit just to pre prevent that ball getting to Edwards. Well, you'll need to see, you'll want to see a bit more of the game played in Luton's half, well, won't Well, I don't know if you saw a shot of uh, Benitez <laughs> there. He looks harassed, me. He? he does. I think the uh, passion of the FA Cup took him a little by, bit by surprise last year at Burnley, but with the 11 he's put out tonight, it shouldn't be the same. Well, he's, right, he's writing things there, he's running out of ink. Oh, a shot by Vine, comes back off the goalkeeper, he was put in by Howard. Luton could have gone ahead there, Rowan Vine. Carson was in the right place. Howard and Hippie are here. And the Luton man wins it again. Three minutes to half time. Well, the only thing that Vine did wrong, John, was it the shot was too near the goalkeeper. Everything else about it was right. It was a good save by Carson. Well, it's got to the stage now, Mark, where Luton should be ahead. Definitely. And here comes Robinson. Carragher gets there. Edwards. Nichols. <laughs> and it's Edwards again. Robinson, what a good turn against Carragher! And Robinson has put Luton down in front! What an amazing cup tie this is! And again, there's the... <laughs> Mike Neal doesn't react! Well, I did say that Robinson is arguably the best footballer in the team. He scored a wonderful goal here against Brighton just after Christmas. And here, well, this is sheer quality against an international defender. He plays it in, Edwards, and Robinson turns Jamie Carragher. And look at the precision of the finish. Well, as well, John, just the way he opens up his body for his first touch, just gives him half a yard, and then it's the most clinical of finishes. The underdogs are in front. From one down, Luton lead Liverpool 2-1. Liverpool are really shell-shocked here, aren't they? They haven't really played and not been allowed to play since they took the lead. This is Risa. Crouch to touch on it. It's an extraordinary thing to say, but it's Liverpool who are overall, not Luton. Also, as well, it's the pace in which Luton are playing the game, which is a great problem for Liverpool, and the movement. This is Suzuka.
Crouch. Liverpool really do need to up their act here. This is Finnan. Kuhl far side. Just about sums up Liverpool's first half performance there. Well, the other, thing, the other thing as well is that the two Luton forwards are really occupying the four Liverpool defenders. We haven't really seen Finnan getting forward hardly. Certainly, Reese as well. This is the goal again. Just, just that's, that's the key. The way he opened up his body, he knew exactly where he wanted to take it. And the touch was sublime and the finish. Yeah, he's got really good uh, skills, Robinson. Northern Ireland international. Part of the Laurie Sanchez squad. Used to play for your old club, Preston, uh, Mark. He's had a great Steve, round, isn't he? Steve Robinson, yeah. This is Underwood, looking for Vine. Carragher is the defender. Oh, and Vine's got the other side of him, and the referee wasn't going to give anything either. Well, in fairness to Jamie Carragher, he put his hand up to the referee and said, you're right, but this is this is the, really the ball, all half, that Liverpool had a real problem with. Well, if there was a better cup tie anywhere today, the fans were very lucky. Because this first half has been absolutely in keeping with the spirit of the competition. Luton surprising their superior status opponents with some excellent crisp football. And the crowd, well, they didn't think it would be as good as this, did they? And the worst thing about this for Mike Newell, the referee's going to blow for half-time. He won't want this to stop. No, Luton don't want half-time to come. That was on by Howard, this is Vine, now Edwards. It's the first time Reese has been close to Edwards for 46 minutes. Well, the Liverpool dressing room was a significant place in the Champions League final, wasn't it, at half-time? I wonder what Rafael Benitez is going to say here, he's got a lot, lot of time to think about it, it's a long walk across the pitch, but Steve Howard put Luton back in the game after Gerrard had put Liverpool in the lead early on. In fact, uh, Gerrard in 16 minutes, Howard in 31, and then in 43 minutes, Robinson, with the cutest of goals, gives the championship side at half-time a lead that they thoroughly merit, with coaches and managers walking across the pitch, collecting their respective thoughts. Mike Newell will be a very happy man with the way his team have performed. Rafael Benitez will be scratching his head and wondering what it is about the FA Cup that leaves Liverpool in a situation like this. The half-time score at Kenilworth Road here, Luton Town 2, Liverpool 1, Gary. There you go, all you disbelievers sitting there at home saying, ah, won't be a surprise. <laughs> Except, of course, for one very smug-looking Ian Wright. Who, me? Well, it's the FA Cup. <laughs> Greatest cup competition in the world. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Liverpool come here as a like, champion, European champions. But this is the FA Cup and Luton, no, against Liverpool. Liverpool give them a chance to play and Luton are working around them you know, getting close to him, and the ball's coming back too quick, too often off of the Liverpool's front men, straight back into Luton's midfield, and they're getting, and their guy on the left, I think he's Vine, he's causing a lot of problems on, their, on Liverpool's right-hand side. You know? And there's no, there's no good fortune to this half-time score. They follow the other. It. I think that... Um, they're Michael, getting battered Michael's, by Luton. Michael's, <laughs> getting battered I would by agree him. with that wholeheartedly. Michael's tactics were spot on right from the start. You know, when Liverpool got possession, they got tight quickly, made it scrappy. When Luton got possession, what they've done is they've taken the game to Liverpool, they've had some great quality in their play, but they've made, which has been a rock-solid defence for the last 10, 12 me weeks, look decidedly shaky, and they thoroughly deserve to be 2-1, it could have been 3 It's or amazing four. how that can happen, isn't it? A team that, in the, in the Championship, compared with all the sides that they've played lately, Liverpool, this side have caused them more problems than any of them. Yeah. Well, you know, when you've been playing really well and when you've had the clean sheets, sometimes we're known that a little bit of complacency sets in, and Luton had one or two early chances and then you just start to worry, you start to wonder and then you make individual mistakes and before you know it, you're all over the place. It, even, even though um, Liverpool did take the lead with a, with a brilliant goal from Steve. Just Jack. pure quality and this is the only thing what Luton have done wrong today. They've given, arguably for me, he's Liverpool's best player anyway. They've given him so much space. Like I was saying the amount of people they had in the box but the fact is Steve Gerrard waits outside after it comes back from Crouchy here. He waits outside and for a player of that quality, you just don't give him this much space, and Luton will learn that. Like maybe in the Championship they can do that, but they can't do that against this is, people this like Liverpool. This is one Steve. mistake that the Luton defence have made. You know, when CC picks up for the second time here, yeah, if you look, I think there's like eight, I think it's eight, eight against three. 
and lurking in the edge of the box is Steve Jarrett. Well, well, arguably one of the best right-footed strikers of the ball in the world. and Probably were, playing as well as anybody in the country at the minute. I love his celebration. His celebration was great. I hope they show us it. It was just so, yeah, that's what I'm about. That's what I'm all about. There you go. Yeah, watch. Watch his celebration. Look, watch him. Yes, this, baby, that's me. This is an Ian yeah. Wright celebration. I, I wasn't that yeah. cool, man. He knows you give him that much space. <laughs> he's going to put it in the back of that. That is pure quality. And at that stage, you're thinking... One, wow. or go to two, or go to three, but credit to Luton, they came right back in, they had a couple of good chances and then they've, they equalised as a, a good goal. There's a degree of doubt as to whether it's offside, I think we can probably clear that up. It's definitely onside. We can prove unequivocally it's onside. Lovely little Megs there on Sammy Erpia. There it is, look. Yeah. Yep. There you are. Yeah, it's onside. And this is not it's a great start. finish. He's gone behind him. He's got to put power in that because Steve Finnan's getting back and he's done that perfectly. If he's it that any softer. Nice little nutmeg as well. Through beautiful Sammy. nutmeg. Yep. Always beautiful. nice to see. But this is a really good finish because anything softer than that and Finnan would have cleared it off the line. It was a really good finish. Here, I'll have some of that. Here you go. But this is going behind him and he knows there's a man coming. He's had to hit that with power. He's perfect. That's brilliant finishing. Martin, you're getting carried away as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. I like that. And at that stage... Can I just deny it at, at this point that um, that wasn't Ian Wright's ruler that drew that thing to the off? <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, quite clear. Fake at that thing. stage, you'd be entitled to sit back and say, well, wait a minute, we've got back into the game, have a five or ten minute period where, you know, that make sure that Liverpool don't get in the ascendancy and get on top, but none of that stuff. Just let's have a go at them again. And I mean, they had one or two chances, but the goal mm. was just before half-time from Robinson was, was pure, was beautifully pure quality. The ball into him was really good pace. It was a good ball into him. And what he's done is he's just, he's just taken it, taken it lovely. Watch this take. This is perfect. Look, beautiful. Bang. See, now that is You've got to fantastic. remember the defender as well. The defender, one of the best defenders in the country, played for the last 12, 14 weeks, Very hardly great. made a mistake. Give him a half a yard of space. Great turn, great touch. Ping in the back of the net. Luton play quality football. They another another play. great celebration. Oh, well, I'll tell uh -huh. you what, he's going overboard there, Michael. Uh, I bet I could, I he's want, going to have to stop it. I want, he's like he'll, inside. Be, he'll be in the dressing room at the minute saying this game is far from... Oh, absolutely. Because Liverpool have come here, and of course they're on a crest already. They're playing well, their forwards are scoring, they're doing really well. So they've come to Luton playing well. Luton well, will let doing, them play they're football. They're doing really well, two one down against Well, Luton. no, but what I'm saying is that will, that will kick them into starting to play because they know they're into a game now. It well, should have I been think, like that in the first place. I that right throughout the half. In fact, we can, we, there's a catalogue of Luton chances. I think this is a vine chance. And... <sighs> It's, I mean, he's time, space, it's a he, great opportunity. He had, enough a time, yeah. he had enough time to really just try and get a good connection on that. I think he's rushed, he's jumped up to meet the ball because the man's there. He should have just let it come down onto yeah. his foot and just try to just get a nice clean laces on it. And this is an even better chance. This is Steve Howard and I think he maybe even it, slips it, here. Yeah, great he does slip. If you watch him, he slips. Yeah. And then six yard area, not picked up. Should have scored. The thing about it is, Al, the ball is just, if you watch it, the ball's just gone behind him. If you watch the forward, it's just gone behind. So he's going back, see? And he's just slipped as he's on his way back. Otherwise, I think, so. I think he's got to let that come on to him, personally. Yeah, late but hit. Late hit. There's another one off the line, Steve Finnan. Great defending. Hi, can I that one? Finnan off the line. Was that going in? I don't know if that was going in. It's exciting, though. And, uh, another Vine chance. That, um, well, it's, just, it's, just, it's just chance after that's chance. That's a good save. That is a good save. Good save. Great save. So they've scored two, we've showed four great chances that they've had. This is good forward play. Taking a chance, and that's just good instinctive strike. It's just good, really good striking. Like Mark Lawrence said, it was just a bit too close to the goal. It was just too straight on. But you, you, you were saying before, how can it happen? You can see in, in the three or four clips here that, that they ain't getting anywhere near them mm. defensively. The line's all over the place. They aren't getting tight, they aren't getting close, and they're making individual mistakes. question their attitude slightly, Liverpool? Oh, I don't think so. I think they, they, they came out and, and they were determined enough. But as I say, when you're on a run that they've been on at the minute, just occasionally complacency can set in. And before you know it, you're under the caution, there's no way back for you. OK, let's just pause briefly and switch our attention to some of the other third round ties that were played today. The team lowest on the league pecking order at this stage of the cup is Nuneaton Borough. 
Well, they earned themselves a money-spinning replay against Premiership Middlesbrough. You can, of course, catch all the action from Manor Park on Match of the Day later tonight. As is often the way, Torquay are battling to retain their league status. A game against Premiership opponents was a nice distraction. Tony Gubber was watching at playing more. Delivery looks a bit too deep. Oh, the goalkeeper's dropped it, and they've scored! It's ruled out. Referee has blown. And here's Hewlett. Kafour with the shot. Outside the penalty area, and that's it. It's a stirring cup tie at Plainmore that has ended nil-nil. Huddersfield had nothing to lose at Chelsea. Better teams have, of course, been humbled at Stamford Bridge this season. Well, they fell behind early on against the champions in waiting. Carlton Cole making the most of a rare start and a bit of luck. But Huddersfield held on until the 74th minute before taking Chelsea by surprise. Gary Taylor-Fletcher's shot too strong for Carlo Cudicini. Predictably, Jose Mourinho's team rallied, though. Ian Robin ran at the Huddersfield defence before Eidegger Johnson shot through it to give Chelsea victory. The person least looking forward to this potential banana skin was Graham Souness. Defeat could have ended his reign at Newcastle. Mansfield, five places off the bottom of League Two, were well able to make it a nervous afternoon for him. Souness was eventually bailed out by a man who could one day be in the dugout himself. Alan Shearer equaling Jackie Milburn's club record at a vital time. Millwall's cup final appearance of two seasons ago must seem like a distant memory. Even so, they more than held their own against Everton. Indeed, Marvin Williams' well-taken goal at the end of the first half put them in front. But Everton were able to force an equaliser. Andy Marshall failing to hold Leon Osman's first shot. He made no mistake with the second. Tamworth might yet drop out of the conference this season. Continuing their cup run will provide confidence. Here's Guy Mowbray. Two went for it together and it breaks for Sidibe. All on his own for Stoke City. It's a heavy touch and it allowed Bevan to come and block. Three more minutes. It's all Tamworth have to hold out or maybe better. It's Jake Edwards running through. Has he got the composure? The route to goal was blocked. It's full time at the Britannia Stadium. That will do for Tamworth. Scunthorpe are hardly setting League One alight this season. Even so, they were relishing their trip to Eastlands. And they went ahead after 17 minutes. Andy Keogh charging clear of the city defence before beating David James. The second half was all about City. Early on, Lee Croft's ball evaded players from both teams before Robbie Fowler slammed in an equaliser. Spaces then started appearing in Scunthorpe's defence and soon Fowler had another opening. A bad tackle in the box gave Fowler the chance to score a hat-trick. He didn't waste it. Before kick-off, Arsenal showed off what they'd won in Cardiff eight months ago and then took on the Welsh capital's resurgent team. Ian Gwyn Hughes describes the action. There's half an opening ball, he's threaded through a great chance here and that's the opening goal for Pires. Pushing forward, Barker not quite sure where to go. Here's Burkamp, chance for 2 now. Not long ago, this game would have been a chance for Wigan to go giant killing. Today, as favourites, they played out a goalless first half before Lee McCulloch and David Connolly combined to give them a lead two minutes after the restart. Just when it looked as though that would be the winner, Wigan failed to deal with a high ball and Leeds made them pay. Rob Hulse getting an 88th minute equaliser. And don't forget the highlights of all today's third round ties and every goal on Match of the Day at 10.30 on BBC One tonight. We've got more live FA Cup football for you for tomorrow evening. Two of the biggest names in the game meet at the Walker Stadium, Leicester against Spurs. Uh, <laughs> live on BBC One at 20 past six. Then on Monday there's the draw for the fourth round of the FA Cup, BBC Two at 1.30.
Um, good efforts from Nuneaton and, and Tamworth, mm. non-league side. Ian was in at the top of the programme, that's what the third round is all about. Great stories, great excitement um, and some big results for the underdogs. And of course we could have a very big result here because um, Luton lead the European champions Liverpool by two goals to one and thoroughly deserve that lead. Very much so. And I'm saying at the top of the programme about new Liverpool, well, we'll see what they've made in the next 45 mm -hmm. minutes because the way that, that Luton have been playing, you know, if they play the same way in the second half, then they'll create more chances. This was the sort of tactics early on that we saw that I think Michael said to his players, when Liverpool in possession, you get tight on them right away. This is in the first minute. So they've got under pressure, looking in possession, and then when they've got it done, they've started to play. And then after five or six minutes in the corner, even from a looting throw, all right, it's tight. You know, Liverpool get back in possession, but they're in quick, they run about them. Steven Gerrard's on the ball. Tackle quick, get tight, don't allow them to, to pass and move. And even here, when you watch Alonso when he picks up here, he plays it quickly, the first one goes in, clatters him, and even Gerard, they're in quick. Right. It's great play. I mean, it's quality play, but they've got enough men there in numbers to get it back, and that's that's what they've done. Mm. That's what I've said about, you know, the first 15, 20 minutes when it was important for Luton to get tight yeah. and disrupt the flow and rhythm of Liverpool's passing. Um, difficult half time in some ways for Luton. They wouldn't have wanted it, would they? They would have carried on, and there are well, times like that in football. Yeah, it's the kind of thing you don't want the half time whistle to come, but I. I personally feel that Luton, the way they've played and the way they've, they've conducted themselves and put themselves about Liverpool, they, it's not a problem to them. Mm. It's not a problem to them. I think they'll come out and they'll, they'll feel they can do exactly the same because Liverpool are going to have to do something. Mm. Half time and bad for Luton, good for Liverpool. Mm. Yeah. Great, it's, it's great for Liverpool. It's time for Benitez to sort things to out. What, what will he do? Well, I think he'll just say to his players, one, you've got to get tighter and two, when you're in possession, you've got to do better. And, and I think that, you know, if you've got the possession, and we've seen time and time again, that if you play, pass and move, and you've got the, the vast majority of possession, then sooner or later the quality should prevail. And I think um, Liverpool have to get their left side going as well. They really do need to get their left side of the pitch, Harry Kuehl, and to, to get past these men and start getting a couple of crosses into Crouch and Cissé. OK, well, there's no big shocks today. This could be the first. Let's rejoin Mark and John. Well, it could be, Gary, and I'm just thinking about Liverpool's options here, Mark Lawrence, and there's no Morientes, no Luis Garcia in the squad. The only out-and-out -out striker he could bring on is Cinema Pongol. Yeah, he started a game as well the other day, but he's resisted change at half-time, and I suggest what he might have said to them, look, you've got yourselves in this mess, you need to get yourselves out of it. As, as good as Luton have been in the first half, it remains to be seen, John, how much that first half has taken out of them. The next 45 will obviously tell us. Yeah, we're looking at Steve Howard there. Mike Newell does have a habit of rotating his four strikers. He's got uh, Warren Feeney, the Irish international, and Enoch Shawunmi on the bench, and I wouldn't be surprised to see one of them coming on uh, later in the game. Benitez has got a long way to go again. <laughs> Wasn't like that at Valencia, was it? And... Uh, <laughs> Not sure he needed that coat, did he? No. Don't worry, he'll get there before they kick off. And uh, Mr Cool. Michael Newell taking up his usual position. Well, can his modern team emulate what he did with uh, the likes of Harford and Steen 19 years ago on this ground? Luton now playing left to right as Crouch tangles with Coyne, who's penalised. Risa. Alonso to Gerard. And now Harry Kuehl. Oh, tipped over by Marlon Beresford. Kuehl going for the instant equaliser at the start of the second half here. Yeah, just a little bit fortunate with the bounce of the ball here, Liverpool and Harry Kuehl. It's, it's a very, very comfortable save in the end for Beresford. Certainly for a goalkeeper of his experience. Sammy Hoopier up for the corner here to support Peter Crouch. And it's come all the way back to John Arnorisa. And that might even work in Luton's favour, I would say. The corner that Liverpool took. And now Berkovic is trying to pick out Edwards in the centre. A strange corner, wasn't it, by Joe? Well, I don't think... I think it was meant for Alonso rather than Arisa. He, He's got the radar wrong for once. On the third round, always the 
stage of the competition noted for shocks. Here's Kill. Crouch waiting in the center. So too is Cisse. He's coming out to Alonso. Play on is the referee. Challenged by Robinson. In fact, Mark Clattenburg, I think, gets marks here for letting the game flow, Mark Lawrence, and he really hasn't stopped it unnecessarily once. Very much so, John. Good young referee. Here's Suzoko. Oh, onside, Cissé, as well. Now, fortunately for Luton, it was a difficult ball for him to take, wasn't it? That's with his back to goal as well. I forgot he was playing. Well, I... I... Gary Lineker did go halfway towards questioning the Liverpool attitude, and I think one or two of them did go missing in the first half, I have to say. I think the thing is, John, you know, that this, this fantastic run they've been on, one of, the, one of the things about that, they've been difficult to play against. It's not the case tonight. It's uh, a bit of a smack round the ear, I think, for Howard. Seemed to come from uh, Hooper's shoulder, didn't it? Back of the net. No, it, won't put, it won't put Howard off his game. Oh, he's had worse. That's Coyne. Oh, Crouch has got to uh, kill away and he's onside and Stephen Gerrard is square and he's also onside. And kill, wow well, then. Oh, he's given a penalty. He's given a penalty against Underwood for the push on Gerrard. I thought the ball was running away from Gerrard, to be honest. And Mark Clattenburg has given Liverpool a penalty. Slightly generous, maybe, Mark Lawrenson. Well, he was in a great position to see it, the referee. You have to decide whether you think Steven Gerrard was going to get the ball. That is the key. He was just clipped, I think, by Underwood. I didn't think that Kewell's pass to Gerrard was good enough it to wasn't. make sure he would have got the ball. It was a poor pass. Having said that, Luton did have themselves uh, to blame really for allowing the two Liverpool players to get through wide open but uh, this is a key moment in this cup tie uh, Mark it's a penalty to Liverpool which would enable them to go 2-2 and uh, the responsibility is Gibriel Suse. is the ball on the spot no it's not I think the referee's probably asking him to replace it yeah the other thing as well it wasn't a booking was it didn't see one it was Underwood, it was very unlucky, I thought. However, can Beresford do anything about this? Oh, he saved it! He could do something about it! The veteran goalkeeper keeps Luton in front. Saving from Gibriel Cissé. Was justice done there, Mark? Yeah, well, he, he, he took a gamble. And, of course, he's gone the right way in the end. It's a very, very good save. It's not a good penalty, but no problem for Beres with that. Town. Still 2-1 in front. What a dramatic cut tie. Well, they'll feel Luton that justice has been done, won't they? I wonder if Liverpool will wish Gerrard had taken the penalty. Oh, definitely. So, we, <laughs> we're where we were. This is Berkovic. I don't know where you can see, John, but Rafael Benitez is going absolutely berserk on the touchline in front of the dugout. There's the goalkeeper, but... Honestly, I've never seen Benitez so animated. Yes, I can see him now, Mark. He, he, he's gone frantic over there. Not as frantic as the Luton Town supporters, by the way, for different reasons. <laughs> Here's Robinson. Is this going to be Luton's night? Well, I think the fourth official might be having to tell him to calm down a bit, Peter Walton. I haven't seen Benitez quite well, I, 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 I wouldn't know what he's going on at the fourth official about. Does he? Does he? I have no idea. Look at him. He's lost it. There really is something going on over there. Well, Cissé won't be pleased at all that, that uh, he gave Beresford the chance to make what was a very good save. got time to tell you all the clubs Beresford has played for in his career, he's been on loan a lot. I'm just thinking maybe that if you think about the Benitez thing, do you think he thinks that Underwood should have been sent off? I'm just wondering about that, that would have been terribly harsh, wouldn't it? It would have been very harsh, it? That, that could be the only thing that he's moaning about, surely. Well, it's a good shout, this is Alonso to Finnan. 
behind you. It comes to something if you want to get a player sent off to get back into the game if you're the European champions. Well, especially when it's a team of division below you, are outplayed him. Spot on. This is developing into one of the memorable cup ties. Round the goalkeeper, Rowan Vine, brought down by Carson. And now, from a situation at one end when it could have been 2 2 from the penalty spot, we now have a situation where it could be 3 1. I was wrong, actually. He was last man, wasn't he? Well, Luton here, with Kevin Nichols, usually a trusted penalty taker. as well under immense pressure very very well taken he tucks those in time after time Nichols and he wasn't going to be phased here the goalkeeper who actually committed the foul went the right way but it was down to his right hand side and the championship team lead the European champions by three goals to one at Kenilworth Road when was the last time somebody scored three against Liverpool what a good question and have they got it have they got the uh, the wherewithal to get back into the game is another very important question. How about um, AC Milan in the European Champions final? I know you get it. <laughs> I had to think a minute there, what you were on about. Here's Kill. They came back from 3 0 down that night. They're 3 1 down here. I don't think. Here's Kill. Still battling away. I tell you what also Mark it tells you something about the let's just see what happens for a minute Gerard so much going on here I don't want to interrupt it Gerard again Cissé it says something about the centre of the Liverpool defence doesn't it that Howard and Vine have both been through on the goalkeeper. Yeah, well, that, that was just down to an individual mistake by Hooker where the, the ball was pinched off him, wasn't it? And I think certainly when he came through Vine, he, he knew exactly what he was going to do. Did he touch him? Ah. Are you suggesting the touch was outside the area? Well, not only that, John, I think it's Vine's foot on Carson's rather than the other way around, however. All right, well, we've got now got two disputed penalties, then that's OK, they can... That's one each, isn't it? Absolutely, that's what they're there for in the studio. <laughs> They'll sort it out. And I think Cinema Pongol's getting ready. It's... Uh... Meantime, it's Sissoko fouled by Berkovic there. Well, this is some sort of nightmare for Benitez, isn't it? He's going to have to put Cinema Pongol on as soon as he can. Alonso with the free kick. Well, there's plenty of ammunition in the box here for Liverpool. Alonso lifting it. Oh, it's come out to Gerrard. That's a difficult chance for Kuhl, in fairness. I know, body of players in front of him, well, struck it well, but just couldn't keep it down. And there's all sorts going on in the penalty area here. It's a difficult chance. He's, he's had to go backwards, hasn't he, to try and get something on it. Well, you normally get a good game here at Luton, but this is something else. Kuhl crouches off after this, so is Gerard. It's a little bit awkward here for Coyne. In fact, it's come out to Cissé, and it's been deflected, but just wide. Well, I'm not sure about the goalkeeper, John. This, this ball came so far, it bounced so high. I think, I think Beresford can get there and solve the problem for his defenders, and in the end, they're a little bit fortunate, Luton, to get away with only a corner. 
Liverpool still haven't got the substitute on. Gerard will take the corner. Oh, they will now, because uh, Sissoko is being sacrificed here for Cinema Pongol. Well, can he help Liverpool to stay in the FA Cup? Great ball from Gerrard, curling away from the goalkeeper. Nice late run as well by Crouch. Did Coyne do enough? Just, yes. There was hardly a breath pause between those two penalty incidents, was there? Speak for yourself. I was. 3-1 <laughs> to Luton. Hippia. Liverpool have gone, they've stuck Cissé down the right, and Pongo's going to try and play, pushed up maybe almost to the left of Crouch for a while. Well, he's uh, involved here twice, uh, Pongo. Vine. Berkovic. And now Rowan Vine chasing down the left flank of the Liverpool defence. Up against Risa, free kick. They've not really coped with the front two all night, have they? And Edwards threw his name in there as well, Berkovic on the left. Well, Howard is ever so strong and Vine is so mobile and the, the, the combination of the two has worked for Luton here. thing is about that, you'd say Hoop is strong and Carragher's so yeah. mobile. Yeah, of course you would. Nichols to take the free kick for Luton. Plenty in there again, Hoopier's header. Away by Kuehl, this is Foley. Disappointed for you if you have. <laughs> Gerard did put Liverpool ahead a long time ago. Howard equalised, Robinson made it 2-1. And after the penalty save at one end, Nichols made it 3-1 from a Luton penalty. And left Gerard wondering quite where Liverpool's game has gone. One or two of the Luton supporters uh, taunting Alan Hansen a little bit there. It was, of course... I don't want to keep reminding you, Mark, you did concede three on this ground in uh, 1987, and Luton have gone and done it again. Thanks. <laughs> Mind you, I think it's fair to say that uh, that was the Kenny Dalglish double team, wasn't it? Here's Edwards. Inside him is Howard. Oh, and Berkovic is completely free to his left. And at the other end... At the other end, it's Cissé with four Liverpool players up against four Luton defenders. Cissé. Oh, out by Underwood. Never got his head up, John. Did, can, did the hard, sorry, he did the hard bit, and he should have just looked and clipped it backwards, really, where there was two Liverpool players breaking into the box. Yeah, it was Heikenen, actually, who headed it clear after Underwood had closed him down. This is Alonso, that is Underwood. We've been playing for an hour in one of the most gripping cup ties certainly that I've seen for a few years 3-1 to Luton and that's a free kick to Liverpool a test here of the character and uh, staying power of the European champions oh and Cinema Pongo nearly in there a great great play by Coy just spotted it in the last minute just got his foot in well, can Luton do what uh, AC Milan couldn't do? And hold the lead against Liverpool. It's really, really good play by Berkovic. He's found Edwards. Luton have got four forward here. Carlos Edwards, oh, he's gone past Brisa. Oh, and brought to say that of Carson. He's got twisted blood, Brisa, tonight. That's him again by Nichols. And it's Howard! For offside. What a good ball as well, wasn't it? Just that, through that sort of corridor of uncertainty. Just a little bit unlucky, really, for Luton, how it was off. It's a great ball in, has a little look, always going away from the goalkeeper. Tight as well. Oh, that corridor of uncertainty. The third round of the Cup is a minefield of uncertainty for big clubs, isn't it? That's hooked on there by Robinson. 
the thing is with uh, Liverpool, they've been bullied here, and not physically, just, just by the quality of Luton's football. Well, that is exactly right, yes. Outplayed, you could say, at this point. Alonso. Finnan. Gerard. now then. Cinema Pongol, he's got away from the defenders. And Liverpool are back in business. And it's the substitute, Flora Cinema Pongol, who's brought it back to 3-2. A bit of relief for Benitez, perhaps, here. Well, it's turned into a good substitution for him, isn't it? The key here is, is the movement of Pongo and the way the ball is just slipped alongside the centre-back. I think it's hiking and half a yard he gets on him as well, Cinema Pongo. Benesford doesn't really do much wrong there. No question of offside, because Underwood, the left-back, was playing him on anyway, Mark. Yeah. Here's uh, Berkovic for Luton, 3-2 now. This is a bit like the European Champions League final, isn't it? Gerrard again. Slightly there by Alonso, who I have to say has been quite anonymous. This is Nichols. Oh, and it's Howard again. Two in the centre, Robinson. Away by Hippier. And now Edwards. Well, it was offside given before the goalkeeper flattened the Luton player. Only 20 yards offside, wasn't he? It's just this time really now for Luton to catch their breath a little bit and get themselves organised. See why just the way he peels off the centre back. He won't really have that in the championship, and just a, a lack of understanding really from Heikkinen. And he was away, Cinema Pongo. was a really good finish, so close to the goalkeeper down to his right, and uh, he was only on the pitch five minutes, Cinema Pongo, before he made his impact. Berkovic. Cinema Pongol again. Free kick. Finnan. Three in the centre for Liverpool. One of them is Crouch. That was Cissé. Just wasn't convincing with the lead, was he? Now you can see that he didn't really know whether to glance it or really sort of thrust his, his head at it. And probably did neither. Good ball in as well. A bit of a nothing header. Howard and Hoopier. Robinson and Risa. Oof, challenge by Nichols. He must fill that up here. This is Crouch. Vine. Foley. Well, this next ten minutes will be vital for Luton. Alonso, Gerrard. Robbed by Robinson, but it's Finnan. Liverpool have got five up here. This is Gerrard, they're really going for it now. A six up now, because it's Risa. In the centre. Crouch now. Oh, and that was Cissé. Well, that's a great ball from Reese, wasn't it? On the run, you see, he just has a little look, picks out Cissé at the back stick. It's a good strike, you, you've got to be able to hit the target from there. Got to. I mean, to score at the, score at the near post, and it just it, it makes the degree of difficulty even greater. A lot of excitement all round the ground. Luton supporters wondering if their team can hang on or even better this lead. Liverpool thinking perhaps they're back in it. Oh, they are now, it's Cissé against the goalkeeper. That's two or three occasions now where they're just sliding the ball inside Heiken and it's a real problem, isn't it? I don't know whether Pat Neal needs to get hold of Underwood and say maybe try and get a little bit tighter to him. Yeah, Edwards. Five up for Luton, it's like two teams just going for it, that, isn't it? Great. Kill. Liverpool's possession 
certainly higher than Luton's now. Can they make it tell again? This is Cinema Pongo. Forced a corner. Just perhaps for the first time now since they got back in it in the first half. One or two alarm bells ringing for Luton. And Gerard unmarked here as he's picked out by Finnan. And Gerard, it's come off Nichols. It's a corner to Liverpool. It's all with them now. Just fell asleep a little bit, didn't they, Luton? Two against one situation. Gerard goes across to pick this up from Steve Finnan. Cinema Pongo near post. And again. Gerard. Little slip by Edwards that Finnan. Decent cross crouches in the centre of that group. And it's been a, hooked away by Foley for Luton. Risa. They're queuing up on the far side of the box here. Crouch. Header in. Sami Hupir is still forward. And Luton could break with Berkovic. He just wonders why we might Newell. If he watches the game when he thinks about maybe making a change shortly. Just to try and maybe freshen it up a little bit. Well, if he does decide to uh, rest Howard or uh, Vine, then it'll be Feeney or Shawanmi. That's forward there for Crouch from Carragher. Alonso. Oh, that's dipping! It's gone in! It's gone in! It's Javi Alonso! 3-3! And that came out of nowhere! Liverpool have come from 3-1 down, and here's the equaliser. How many yards out is he here? 40? Javi Alonso. That'll go down in the uh, FA Cup goals library, Mark. Certainly will. It's, it's a violent dip right at the end that completely bamboozles Beresford. Robinson tries to get something on it, doesn't he? And he really forces Alonso into shooting from there. Well, I said it a few minutes ago, he'd been pretty anonymous, but he isn't now. Of course, it was Alonso, wasn't it, who brought Liverpool back in Istanbul. He's done it again here. This is Cissé, and he's up against Underwood. And you can bet your life Liverpool are going for the win, it's Crouch now. 20 minutes left, 3-3. Three, three. Oh, could you, could you envisage a better cup tie? No. My well, last cup tie I've seen as good as this was in May. Well, the FA Cup, still the best competition of its kind in the world because it produces nights and moments like this. Just seemed to, to dip violently right at the end, didn't it? Luton win it back again. Howard. And now Vine. He's up against Carragher. Rowan Vine. I don't know if you noticed, but Luton got four players in the penalty area very, very quickly, too. They'll be talking about this match for years in this part of the world. Whatever happens now, it's Gerard. Kill. Risa. All the way out to Finnan. Little chip in. the wrong time to be suggesting this but I guess Luton wouldn't be too disappointed with a replay at Anfield financially well the thing is now John for the first time in the match they're actually looking stretched you know the, the three components of the team the defence midfield and, and attack aren't as one at the moment they're stretched all over well he was fouled there by Crouch well there are so many moments in this match that people will look back on Mike Neal's team had a two-goal advantage. That's been wiped out now. We had two penalties to discuss. Howard and Hippier. Cinema Pongo. Nichols. Cissé and Underwood. Oh, Vine. Nichols cross. Here's Howard. 
think, by Steve Howard, is it? It, oh. is, it is indeed, yeah. He just came over Hoopy's head and he brought both his arms in. Steve Howard, he watched just, just to control, it's a great ball in. Hoopy's in all sorts of problems and yeah, the left hand looks as though it just maybe eased the ball on. <laughs> what on earth's going to happen next? Well, another Liverpool attack is the answer. Kewell with the cross, this is Gerrard coming in. Oof, struck coin, and from Luton's point of view, a good thing it did. I'll tell you what, that was on target as well, wasn't it? I think it was flying towards the goal. 18 minutes to go. I think the Luton change will happen very soon. Just try and mix it up a little bit. Risa coming in behind Foley. Through the legs of the referee, who dodged not nicely out of the way there. Mark Clattenburg, which is hip here. Kuhl, Risa. Oh, joining the attack here is Finnan. Cinema Punga! in Istanbul they're right back in it and although it was penalties that night it's 4-3 tonight crossed by Finnan and Cinema Pongol just gets the better of the defender and he plunks the header right in the corner and there's no way really that Beresford can do any more than watch that and would you believe it from 3-1 down Liverpool lead by four goals to three in this cup tie and, Liber and Luton make a substitution. Heikkinen has gone off. And Leon Barnett. It's going to be a change for Luton in defence. In fact, Leon Barnett has come on, the youngster centre back. But here's Crouch immediately testing him. I think Barnett's on, John, to counter the pace of Pongol and Cissé down that sort of inside left channel, which has been a real source of a problem in the last ten minutes to uh, Luton. But what, what a good, sorry, what a good header from uh, Cinema Pongol. Great climb, great leap. I think Coyne's getting a yellow card here, Mike, for a foul. Uh, Mark, for a foul. Yeah, late on Alonso. There's Barnett. Uh, he's pretty new to this, uh, this scene, Leon Barnett. He actually made his debut at 16. It's 20 now. Well, substitutions, Benitez, he's your man. Brings on Cinema Pongo, two goals, thank you very much. Gerard! You wouldn't have got in the way of that, would you? Well, when Cinema Pongo put Liverpool back in it, it was 62 minutes. The second goal came on 74, so they scored three times in 12 minutes to go from 3-1 down to 4-3 up. I keep looking at the scoreboard, Mark, to remind us just how many goals there have been. The end of it either. Well, extraordinary. Kill. Crouch. Cinema Pong goal on a hat trick now. Gerard. He's drifting in there behind Underwood. That's Barnett with the clearance. And indeed with the foul. I think you're absolutely right about substitution. But it was a brave one, wasn't it? Because he took a holding midfield player off in Sissoko and put on, well, what you would call a, a forward, certainly. And, and, I, and I think, you know, since Pongol's come on and they've virtually got three prong there with Cissé and Crouch, and all of a sudden, spaces have opened up for them, haven't they? Hippier forward. Driven low. Oh, it's come off the Luton player. Crouches here now with the header. Oof. Well, when we've got time to reflect on this, 
amazing game will decide where it stands in the history of great third round cup ties it comes somewhere near the top at the moment for me offside and it may not be over yet I just wonder with Luton now 4-3 down this is this is the goal that uh, put them 4-3 down by the way just wonder whether Mike Neal thinks about a change of striker but yeah quite possibly Barnett with the header a foul on Hoopier. Kromkamp, isn't it? This is the new man. Jan Kromkamp from Villarreal, Dutch defender, played against England in the friendly for Holland. I saw him play against Manchester United in the Champions League. I have to tell you, in all honesty, I can't remember him. Is he an orthodox right back? And we're told he is. I think so where he played for Holland when I saw him. This is Nichols. I have thought he would have expected to make his debut in a match quite like this. You don't get these games abroad, do you, in their domestic cup competitions? Well, I can imagine if they concede when he comes on, how he feels. wonder with with Cronkamp obviously coming on imminent but whether it's a signal from Benitez we're set up for 4-3 let's just make sure we don't give another goal away yeah well Crouch is coming off so yeah I think probably put Cissé up front with Pongo maybe Steve Finnan might go right side of midfield and Cronkamp right back we'll, we'll wait and see so here we are it uh, was a transfer which sent uh, Yosemi back to uh, the continent he uh, didn't quite settle at Anfield with the language and so on. This is Gerard. A seven-goal sizzler at the moment here at Kenilworth Road. Here's Cissé. Gerard. Kill. Same two strikers still making their runs up front. Here's Howard. It's a good turn. Nichols. Vine wants it played left. Jamie Carragher chasing out after him. And Kronkamp's just gone right side of midfield. Obviously, maybe just to sit there a little bit as a, as a holding play, but down that side. Ten minutes and a shade more to go. Liverpool 1-0 up, 3-1 down, 4-3 up now. Gerrard. Oh, it's a decent-looking ball, and the goalkeeper comes a long way to meet Cissé. Howard. This is fine. Now then, two more changes for Luton, and these were the two that uh, I expected, really. Warren Feeney's coming on, along with, uh, well, first of all, uh, replacing Carlos Edwards and Enoch Shawanmi, who is a giant, unpredictable striker. Came from a North London club called Wilsdon Constantine and has a university degree actually. Enoch, and he's uh, coming on to replace Berkovic. Well, now we've got Crikey, Mark. We've got uh, how many strikers on the pitch now? Four for Luton. Two strikers for two midfield players there by Mike Newell. Well, you may as well go for it at this stage, mightn't you? Well, definitely. And to be honest with you, the, the way they play, John, the fans can get an equaliser here. I think the chairman will be hoping they do. It'd be uh, <laughs> a good payday at Anfield, wouldn't it? It's a wonderful way. He's Bremer and everything. Bill 
Tompkins, yeah, absolutely. This is Alonso. Now it's Gerard. Up it goes to Cissé. Alonso. Underwood. Oh. Nichols covering. You just feel as well that, that midfield area at the moment, Liverpool are in control of it. Well, I've seen Mike Newell this season many times swap his strikers over. I've never seen him have all four on the pitch at once. But he has now. Nichols to Robinson. And he's sliding that through for Howard. Alonso, ooh, delicate little ball. This is Cissé, and he's ahead of Coyne, and he's overrun the ball. That's him, Job. That's him in a nutshell, I'm afraid. Great pace. He was away. He's tucked. His first touch is poor, generally. Well, if it had been better, it might have been 5-3 and all over. As it is, Luton come back looking to make it 4-4. This is Foley. It's Reese. Well, Reese is away now. He's got two up with him. Cinema Pongol just inside here. <laughs> Finnan. Cronkamp. Cinema Pongol. Came off Foley, Kewell, Gerard, and still Stephen Gerald, blocked by Coin. Risa, oh, it swerved in front of Beresford. Well, it's an excellent save in the end because for a split second, like you, I thought he'd missed it. Kromka. Free kick to Liverpool. Now then, has the danger pass for them? This is the shot, yes, from Risa. Last minute swerve, but not too dissimilar to the swerve on Alonso's goal. Well, the modern ball, of course, Mark, doesn't do goalkeepers any favours sometimes, does it? Well, they're in better heart now, aren't they? The travelling 1800 from Merseyside. Cinema Pongol cutting in again, Barnett goes across, that's a goal kick. Luton have got just over five minutes. Gerard looking for Cissé, Barnett in with the challenge. Here we go, Foley. It's Kill offside, Cissé. I don't think anyone was catching him, were they? It's a free kick to Luton Town. They've got to pile everybody in now. This is Foley. start to break again. Jeremy Carragher. Kewell. Good ball by him to Cissé. Bromkamp couldn't reach that. Underwood clears to Shawanli. Open the reaction of the crowd that he's uh, a bit of a favourite here, Enoch. It's a mobile brick wall, isn't it? <laughs> Nichols. Oh, it's a poor ball. This is Finnan. Gerard. Risa. Alonso. His goal brought it back to 3 3. Now, Kewell. Gerard and 
and uh, Cissé both going in the same direction, leaving the space on the left for Kuehl. Coyne makes the challenge. Only as far as Alonso, Cinema Pongo. And still, oof, threatening to go straight through them. Here's Alonso winning it back. Couldn't scoop it up. This is Nichols. Shawanmi's coming in from the far side. And that touch by Cinema Pongol, intercepted by Barnett. This is Vine. Howard. Ooh. Oh, and wait a minute. Feeney's coming in. Well, the goalkeeper did well, Carson, didn't he? There's an offside flag going up. He didn't know that at the time, but his starting position was very good. Well, there's more football for you tonight on Match of the Day at 10.30, and there's a game at Leicester tomorrow night at 6.20 on BBC One. I hope it's as good as this. <laughs> They've set a bit of a standard here, these two, for the FA Cup this season, I'll tell you. This is Underwood. And he's lost it, and it's Cinema Pongol. Kromkamp, the Dutchman, is behind him. Underwood did ever so well to win that back against the pair of them. And he's found Nichols. And he'll keep Luton going right to the end, you can be sure of that. Shot on his offside. Yeah, I think it was pro probably Howard coming back from an offside position who flicked it on. Yeah, it was. He just flicked it on for him. It's taken 88 minutes for the game to calm down. And there's going to be another substitution while it does. Yeah, it'll be Warnock, I think. Warnock for Cissé. Looks a bit like it, doesn't it? Yeah, further indication of uh, we keep hold to what we have if you're Liverpool. Stephen Warnock. Now, Cissé just got a yellow, John, for strolling off. Yeah, the referee's booked him for time-wasting, Mark. You're dead right. Warnock to left-back, and... Uh, Risa just pushed further forward down the left-hand side. Absolutely. There was an offside flag there against Kuehl, but play goes on. Up goes Howard with uh, Hoopier. This is Nichols. Out by Carragher to Gerrard. Cinema Pongo. Warnock. His first contribution is sound. Finnan. Just can't get the second ball, Luton, can they? Just can't really quite get there. Cissé off. Mike Newell's posture hasn't really changed all night. He's still leaning against that dugout, not showing any great expression. But he can be proud of his team, that's for sure. Well, I bet, I bet his heart's beating inside there rather fiercely. His team have been outstanding. Now Kromkamp latching onto a ball from Kuhl. He's got Cinema Pongol, the only man up, and here he comes now. And Steven Gerrard is behind him. Oh, and Gerrard got caught by a challenge from Coyne as he shot. Yeah, I think it was the pressure of the challenge from Coyne that makes Steven Gerrard just lift this over the bar. He he's gone. Sorry, John. He's gone to. He's gone to block the ball. In fairness to Coyne. Yeah, Gerrard just tumbled across him, didn't he? Uh, the ninth, oh, we're up for 90 minutes, three minutes of uh, time added on here at Camelworth Road at the end of uh, one of the most eventful cup ties you could wish to see. And one of the most fluctuating as well, forward by Hippia. Barnett's header. This is Howard looking for Shawami. Cissé, goalkeeper starts to come. And Liverpool again, living up to their reputation as the comeback kings. Well, ultimate respect, really, from Rafael Benitez, because he's got a nominal right-back down the right side of midfield, and you would argue that what's Risa, probably more of a left-back than a left-side midfield player. He's down the left, so he's got two full-backs in midfield to stop the rock. Luton have got two minutes to save it now. Foley. Nichols. Forward by Barnett, Shawanmi wants to flick this on, and he has for Vine. And Rowan Vine just uh, couldn't hold that ball. He was just probably, his brain was too quick for his feet, wasn't he? He knew exactly what he wanted to do, 
transfer it from right to left and it's just his touch in the end that let him down. So, time runs out, Liverpool supporters won't mind about that. What a night. Pavlouk got one more throw of the dice. And in the middle there was Harry Kuhl, and this is Cinema Pongol. I think Luton have got an injury over there, Mike, haven't they? Mark, they're down to ten men. Here's Gerard. I think Luton are going to finish this with ten men. Yeah, one of the players just slipped off over onto the far side. I think it might be Robinson. So the ten men in the dying moments. 4-3 down. Foley. Nichols gets a free kick against Alonso. This surely is the last chance for Luton. Shawanmi's made his run. Comes back towards Vine. Foley. Inside by Feeney. Shawanmi. Goalkeeper came. Corner. Yeah, a good decision by Finney. You can't leave it there. Underwood is coming across to take the corner. Barnett has gone forward for Luton. The goalkeeper's coming up. They're all there. Beresford's on his way. Vine is in there. Coyne goes up as well. Can Liverpool clear their box? And it goes again from Underwood. It comes off Steven Gerrard. There's the clearance by Risa. Oh, look where Beresford is. He's still halfway inside the opposing half. Alonso has shot for goal, and he scored from his own half of the field. What an unbelievable finish to a fantastic cup tie. Xavi Alonso has scored from his own half of the pitch. Marlon Beresford was still up from the corner, as you can see, and he bends that round from his side of the centre circle, and it goes all the for that for sure and here at Kenilworth Road as Mark Klettenberg blows the final whistle we are in fantasy land a cup tie the like of which I can't ever remember seeing before Cinema Pongol turned it round for Liverpool with two goals they were 3-1 down just in case you lost count Benitez team won by five goals to three after he made a series of substitutions but what can you say about this match? The championship side, 3-1 up after an hour, and they get beaten by two clear goals. No wonder Mike Newell applauds the fans. He's applauding his own team, surely, and will do in the dressing room. And the Liverpool people know that they've been here, even by Istanbul standards, something fairly special. Gary, I don't know what the word is, sensational? Scintillating, superb, surreal perhaps. Luton Town 3, Liverpool 5. Startling, Motti, truly startling. Eight goals, five for Liverpool, three for Luton, two penalties, one of them missed, and a goal from 173 yards. <laughs> I'm actually going for unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, it was absolutely fantastic. It's probably one of the best cup ties I've ever seen with drama, excitement, goals quality of play, intensity, even when Luton got the, you know, the corner kick in the last minute, you think, that, will there be an end to this game? And then Alonso hits it and unbelievable <laughs> finish. It was just, he's out of his seat. I mean, just, just absolutely he's always out of his seat. <laughs> it was just quality. Liverpool in the second half showed their quality and Luton, yeah, to, to, to be fair to them, they ran themselves into the ground and then Liverpool just passed them off the pitch. But it was a great game. It's, you know, it's what you get. You, Luton gave them a run for their money. Luton were, Luton were brilliant, they yeah. really were brilliant, they run out of steam, the second half Liverpool showed, the, as Ian said, the quality of a pass and moving, but Luton played their part in this match, <laughs> to go 3-1 up and, yeah, you know, the only disappointing thing was that there was a loser in the match. Mm. I mean, certainly no losers watching.